So moving next, the next one is uh, the next one is um, the creation of our job itself. So our job gonna return a type of job, okay? Then we give uh, the name of the job itself. So the name of the job gonna be import sales. Um, yeah, import sales. That's good. No, import sales info. Uh, let's just give it like that. So um, as we have here job builder factory, which is gonna help us to, to build our job, let's use it. Job builder factory, give it a name, um, import sales info, okay? It's the name of our job. And then uh, one thing that we have to keep in mind is to give this a new incrementer. So Spring Batch gonna use, do you remember the job repository, right? So Spring Batch gonna use, uh, it's like uh, under the hood in order to increase or increment the, the job ID because every single job, okay, as we go back here, okay, every single job instance, okay, uh, is a set of key values, params, and as its own identity, okay? Maybe the, 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 the difference is ID and some other uh, 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 parameters that we can add. And we're gonna see it later. So. Uh, we have the incrementer and then we start our job, okay? We start our job um, using the first step, okay? Which in our case is the only step that the only step that we have here. And then we build it and we say that it's a beam. Whoa, now we have everything set up. So uh, going back to the concept, now we have a job which contains a step and that step has reader, processor and writer. And going back here, we have the job. The job contains a step, okay? And step has the reader, processor and the writer. So the next, the next uh, step is to um, now run our job in order to see if it works or not. So before running our job for the first time, Okay, um, we have to create our database, okay, for our job. So I'm using my, my SQL workbench, okay? So in that order, I'm gonna create database uh, sales info, okay? In order to allow our job to, uh, let's say like, uh, to, to use this database, okay? So Spring needs it. So I have created uh, I have created uh, the, the the database. Let's just make here a refresh. Um, what is it? Okay, create sales info. And S here, sales info. There is no table for now. Now let's run our job in order to see if it works or not. 